Some other small island nations in the Pacific are already experiencing the impact of climate change. Kiribati is one of them. My name is Bernard, and I live on Tarawa, the capital of Kiribati. We are a group of coral atoll islands, mere dots in the central Pacific Ocean. As tiny islands rising a few meters above the sea, with practically no soil, we have learned to make use of every scarce resource. We collect the sap from coconut trees every morning, and use it as a drink. Tarawa, the capital, is a group of atoll islets more than 200 kilometers long with an average width of less than half a kilometer. The land being so small, we have to build along the coast. But lately the coast is increasingly moving in on the land. Mrs. Saipolua has had to move her house twice due to the rising sea levels. Despite our small size and the limited natural resources, life today is similar to how our great-grandparents lived a hundred years ago. These natural resources from the sea reflect our traditional way of life the bounty of our oceans feeding us. These may be the first to disappear with increasing changes in the water temperatures and its effects on the ocean environment. Our elders play a very strong role in our lives, teaching us about living here in the islands, mostly about surviving in quite a difficult environment. With our islands being so small, the sea is our biggest resource. Over the years, the generations have perfected the ways to use the oceans respectfully for our survival. Ironically, it is the very ocean on which we depend that now threatens us. In Kiribati society, we have the Tani Porau, traditional weather readers who have developed skills to read the skies and predict the weather. Their knowledge is important for a successful fishing trip. Lately, the Tani Porau have been saying that their readings are not as accurate as they used to be. Something is changing. 
The fishermen in our community talk about how they now have to go out further to catch fish. They also talk of some of the changes noticed in the fish stock. Some fish that used to be found in the lagoons are now found in the deep seas. And some that used to be caught in the deep seas can now be caught in the lagoon. How can this be happening? What are the causes of these disturbances in the ocean?